Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasi Toy, and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation, right? We are teaching ourselves another uh, web application test automation tool in Cypress, right? So we started teaching ourselves Cypress and we've come across uh, the first trouble, you know, the first uh, issue, right? And we have to troubleshoot it, right? So I'm just going to show you this, but I'm, I'm going to show you the process I took and then the issue I got and how I resolved it, right? And I'm, I'm going to make other videos around how I created a package, um, created a, a, a package.json file and then in, installed Cypress and then uh, launched Cypress, right? I'm going to make videos on that. This video is just about one of the issues I come across that stopped me in my tracks and I resolved it, okay? So if this is what your, this is, this is in your book, you know, in your, in your, in your kind of things that you're interested in, thumbs up, right? And become a subscriber, right? So we are learning here and we are encouraging others, yourself, myself, I'm upskilling, right? And I think by now you know what the channel is all about, right? So let's go for it, right? So we have, a, in order to get Cypress on your machine, right? Um, we have, I've already done um, videos that uh, we have, if I could go to my video, my channel. So, so far so good. We have a downloaded and set up a path to the system variables for node, right? And then we're also node.js, right? So we have also downloaded a Visual Studio Code, which is the editor for a JavaScript based projects, right? And now we want to get um cypress onto our machine right and uh, in doing that this is when i came across the issue i came across right so what you have to do first in order to install cypress um, you've got to create a project right create a project or it's called it's an empty folder a project that will hold all your artifacts right your cypress all your artifacts to do with your cypress if you say running your cypress right on your machine right so what I did was I let me go back to here. I created an empty folder in my C drive and I called that empty folder node project, right? Node project, right? And I did that through my command line, right? I did that through well. I created the the um, or you can do it through your command line or you can create it uh, manually. I created it manually on my on my um, my c drive right i created the folder manual on my c, on my c drive and then i went on to my command line and then i uh, changed changed directory onto the path right so i changed directory onto this path right and then i created a json dot no, no a package dot json file now a package dot dot json file as a file that manages all your dependencies for your cypress project right it manages amongst other things it manages your dependencies or for your cypress uh, project right and it also manages a uh, you know like um downloading and um, what you got like so you have to use your um package.json file to actually install your 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 Cypress, right? This is what I'm finding out, right? But we'll, we'll learn more about it, right? So what I did was, um, so this is, to install that, all you have to do is go uh, M, npm init. So let me if see if I can find it here. Uh, I've installed it twice because I wanted to get to the bottom of the issue that was happening, right? So uh, if we can go here, Let's see, that's it here. So here, npm, npm, init, right? Now that creates this a uh, JSON. I mean JSON, yeah. Package dot JSON file, right? This package dot JSON file, right? Which you will need 
in order to uh, it, it sits on the bottom of the, the JavaScript project, right? And it manages your dependencies for your Cypress project. So you need this in order to install uh, your Java, right? So I finished creating that file. And what I did then now is I needed to install um, Cypress onto that, you know, use the JSON file, the package JSON file to install Cypress, right? And I installed Cypress. So this Cypress installed. I'm going to walk through all this in another, in another video, so don't worry about it. I'm doing this to get to the actual issue that I came across, right? <clears throat> So after installing Cypress, after installing Cypress, which is a Cypress 7.3.0, after installing Cypress, I went to my Visual Studio, right? I'm gonna show all this. Again, don't worry about it. I went to my Visual Studio and I tried to open Cypress, right? Open Cypress. And I came across this Cypress.s, I mean PS1 cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on this system right so i just copied this and i googled it and i came across the solution right so i copied it and i googled it and i found this video that walked me through the solution right and i'm going to show you this so what i what you do is you go to your search and you want to type in power Power PowerShell and on the PowerShell you go you right click on PowerShell and then you go run as administrator right and it will open this window right to open this window and what you want to do you want to type this set execution policy unrestricted and then you hit enter once you hit enter it will come up with this execution policy change right and it would come up with all this and it will give you options yes yes to all no no to all uh, suspend suspend help so you just hit yes and again you come back to uh, the powershell uh, system 32 bit right but when you get back to your when you get back to your visual studio i mean yeah your visual studio code and you try to open cypress again now cypress should open successfully which it did for me right so i just wanted to talk through uh, this first issue that i came across so and oops i don't know what's happened there but let's get away from that I don't know what's happening with my system. Right. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, we'll go back here, right? So, ah, try to open it again. Something is happening. Anyway, so, Cypress was open successfully, right? So um, next video, I'm gonna be detailing, detailing all how how the importance of the um, G, um, package .json file, how to use a package .json file to install Cypress. I'm gonna make videos on all that, right? This video was just on the issue I came across, okay? So my name is Kevin Owasubitoy. Give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and get along and learn some Cypress and upskill yourself, right? Or just get along with the, um, the uh, what we're trying to do here mentally and as well, as well okay? So stay blessed. My name is Kevin Noah